Oh no, we're stuck. Hey everybody, Adrian here with the Northwoods Family Channel. We've had a few questions about just basics of how do I use my winch to recover my vehicle? So, found a little divot here in the ground and we got ourselves, well, kind of stuck. And we're just gonna show you the basics here, how to use the winch for a self-recovery, including how to use the soft shackles and the snatch rings. The first component, of course, is our winch. And then we have a few other things that we keep in this box underneath our passenger seat. That includes a tree saver. We have two of these synthetic soft shackles. I'll show you how to use these in a minute. Two of these snatch rings. I have a toe strap about 20 feet long, and I also have another 50 feet of synthetic recovery rope. You wanna make sure you have enough rope, enough straps, because if you get stuck somewhere where there's not a tree nearby, eh, you're gonna be in kind of a pickle. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to release the spool of the winch so we can pull the winch rope out. There's just a knob right here that you have to turn. Be careful because it's by your coolant system and things like that, so this hose can get a little hot. Just be careful where you're grabbing in there. These flags are there so you grab this and not the hooks. So you don't get your hands caught in it and uh, you know hurt yourself. So grab it by that and then just pull. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our tree saver. What you don't want to do is just wrap your rope around the tree and clip it back on itself like this. It can wear out your rope. You're putting a lot of friction on your rope. Number two, it's not good for the tree, especially if they're not your trees. So the first thing I can do is just a straight pull. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hook my snap ring in here. There we go. So I have my winch rope rigged up now just for a straight pull directly to the tree saver. Now this is simple and it's quick to set up. The disadvantage of it is that all of the weight of my machine is on that single piece of rope. If I'm not stuck too bad, or if I need to do a really long pull and I'm not stuck too bad, this is a way to do it. But I'm gonna show you a different way to rig this winch rope up in case you need some more pulling power or, you know, just to be safe, because why do I wanna put more weight on my rope and possibly risk breaking it? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use one of these soft shackles and the snatch ring to set up a pulley system where we're going to get a mechanical advantage and be able to essentially double the load we can put on this rope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our soft shackle and our snatch ring. We're just gonna loop that snatch ring through that soft shackle. We're gonna use this soft shackle and run it through those loops, work that knot through, and then tighten her up. But there you go, so now you see the force when we put the rope around there, it's gonna be pulling like this, and we've got a nice 90 degree here, as opposed to if I'm positioning things like this, you see now how that knot, it's just kind of more of an angle, it's a uh, wider angle, and I think you just have a little bit more likelihood of that knot slipping. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my rope, and I'm gonna loop it through here. I'm gonna pull my hook end back to my machine, and I'll show you how to rig it up there. So now what I want to do is I want to secure this hook somewhere to the front of my machine. I want to secure it fairly low, as low as possible. That's going to give me the most leverage for pulling the machine out. Now there are a couple ways to do this. If you have a good place to hook it, to make sure it's somewhere really strong on the frame, you know, low on the bumper, something like that. I don't have a really good place to hook this. So really I'm going to have to use a toe strap or another soft shackle. And I'm going to set it up just like I did the other one. All right, so, so I only carry two of these soft shackles. The other thing that I keep in there now, just uh, as a spare in case for some reason I needed to use both of these soft shackles somewhere else, is I have just a couple of these tie down straps. These have a working load limit of 3,500 pounds. Uh, I could certainly loop one of these through here, but these are super lightweight. In a pinch, these will work too. So let me show you how we're rigged up here. We have, our rope coming out of our winch, and that's gonna run all the way down to our snatch ring and our soft shackle, which is rigged to our tree saver. The rope runs around the snatch ring, and it's coming back all the way to a low mounting point. This is our bumper, which is attached to our frame. It's a really good sturdy place. You don't wanna put it on somewhere that's gonna break. That is attached to a soft shackle. Our hook is clipped on there really good. That's not gonna go anywhere. So now we're ready to do some pulling. 
The first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that everybody is clear out of the area. Now, if this rope were to break, because it doesn't have a lot of mass, the chances of it flying back at us and injuring somebody is a lot less than a steel cable. The other thing to remember is that these machines when you're winching and trying to power out of stuff, they can start sliding, getting squirrely, going sideways. So just make sure the area is clear. Make sure that you've re-engaged your winch and then go ahead and start up your machine because these winches suck a lot of energy. Put your machine in low gear and make sure you're in four wheel drive. Normally I will use both the winch and the throttle to try to free my machine in order to minimize the stress on my rigging and my winch. Be careful not to spin your wheels too much and dig yourself deeper and be careful not to smoke your belt. If you rev up and your wheels don't turn, let off the gas and let the winch do some work before you try again. Learning how to apply the brake with your left foot can be a really good skill to have. Be ready to apply the brake with your left foot if you gain traction, but then suddenly start sliding backwards or sideways. Be careful not to run over your rope and get tangled up when you get unstuck. Now let's say this tree wasn't there. Let's say that I had a tree a lot further away that I needed to use. Well, obviously I could just do a straight pull, but what if I still felt I needed to have that mechanical advantage of the pulley system? How else can I rig this up? Well, the first thing to do is to see how much winch rope do I actually have. Now, if you watch my winch rope installation video, you'll see that I marked my rope where I've got about five feet left because I don't wanna pull this rope completely off the spool. I wanna leave a few wraps there. I'm gonna go ahead and lock my winch spool so I can't accidentally pull anything else out. I don't want this rope coming off that spool in the middle of nowhere when I'm trying to recover my vehicle. So let's say I need to recover my vehicle and that tree's not there and that tree's not there and this tree is the closest tree that I can use. Well, when I set everything up, or if I'm smart, I just lay out my rope and all of my kit, I realize that, oh man, my hook only comes back to here. I don't have enough to get it all the way to my bumper. Well, that's where carrying spare rope or another strap can come in handy. All I need to do is simply attach that toe strap from here to my bumper. That would be one option. The problem with doing it this way, however, is depending how far you have to pull, eventually your hook and your strap is gonna get real close to that snatch ring and you're gonna have to stop and reposition some things. So, a couple things I could do. I could attach this through the soft shackle without the snatch ring. If I don't have enough of these soft shackles, I can also just loop the loops together. So that's how we rig this one up. Tree saver, toe strap, soft shackle and snatch ring, and then our pulley rope back to our UTV. There's one more thing we need to do, and that's properly re-spool our winch so it's ready to go next time. So you don't need to put it away quite yet. I just wrap it up, put it on the bumper, clip it here, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. Pull your winch out at least as far as you did when you started, if not to the point where there are a few wraps left on the spool. Secure it to a tree saver, then back up to tighten the rope. Put your machine in neutral and use the weight of the machine to keep tension on the winch as you spool it up. You can slowly turn the wheels left and right a little to get the rope to wind evenly across the winch spool. Get out and check at least a few times, putting your machine in park to ensure the winch is spooling evenly. It's best to do this on level ground, be prepared to use the brake lightly if the machine wants to roll forward and release the tension off the rope. If you don't have good tension on your rope as you spool it up, the next time you apply force to the rope when trying to recover your vehicle, the top layers of the rope on your spool can slip and dig into the rope beneath it, creating a tangle or even damaging the rope. There we go. And then finally, just do a quick inspection of your gear. Make sure none of your snatch rings or straps are frayed or broken or something like that from the last recovery and pack them all up nice and neat so they're ready next time. So those are some basic techniques how you can do a recovery with your winch. We use the synthetic rope, 
a little bit safer. The same fundamentals apply with cable winches. I'll show you guys on another video a couple different things you can do with those, mainly a little bit different equipment that you're going to use. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.